Hey everyone, welcome to Digital Charcuterie. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're talking Star Wars. Oh, Star Wars. Give me the Star Wars. Don't let them in. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. And shout out to all of our new subscribers. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We are looking to hit 4,000 subscribers. Let's get right to it. Star Wars, the Ray movie is dead. The Ray movie is not dead. It's so much happening. Daisy Ridley keeps getting asked what's going on with her movie. And she says, you're going to hear news. Something very exciting is coming. Let's talk a little Star Wars. Yep. Today, news has dropped that it actually might have nothing at all whatsoever to do with the Daisy Ridley movie, but it has to do with Simon Kinsberg, who you might know had a little bit to do with Star Wars Rebels. He's the co-creator of Star Wars Rebels. He worked on Logan, uh, Deadpool, X-Men. He's worked on things all over. He's had a very rich history in Hollywood, and I think he has an idea of Star Wars, and there were rumors that he was working on or going to work on a Star Wars movie many, many moons ago, if I'm not mistaken. Google it! Google it! Google it! But now word has come out that Lucasfilm has tapped him to write not just one movie, not just two, but an entire trilogy of Star Wars films. That's right, a new trilogy. This is all according to Deadline. We can look at the article right over here, and Deadline is saying that they suspected that they would be episodes 10, 11, and 12, but their sources are telling them, like people in the know are saying, uh uh uh, that is not correct. But his trilogy is going to work alongside The Dawn of the Jedi, James Mangold, The Ray movie by Charmaine Abed Chinoy, Taika Waititi's movie, which I guess is not dead, and Donald Glover's Lando movie. Now, whether or not they all connect, I'm not completely sure, or if they're all going to be treated as standalone movies or now a trilogy within one giant world. I'm, that's what makes me nervous. That's what makes me nervous. Because what makes the Mandoverse so great, even if you found it, you know, like some of it not to be so perfect, but what makes it work, in my opinion, is that it's all connected, it's all interconnected. This is what Disney told us, Lucasfilm told us they were going to do 12 years ago when they purchased, when the company was purchased by Disney, is everything's gonna connect. We're getting rid of the EU, and everything's video games, cartoons, movies, TV shows, comics, but everything is going to connect, and they've been really wishy-washy on that. Very wishy-washy, but the Mandoverse has kind of maintained that lore, the canon within itself. Now, it hasn't expanded so much into books and obviously video games and whatnot, but it's been self-contained. It's been nice to see it. When you watch this, it connects to that, and they all connect. And, and that aspect of it, I think they've done very well. But that brings that raises the question, of course, when we get to you know the Ray movie, where does the Ray movie fit into everything? Yeah, Rogue One was nice when it was juxtaposed with Force Awakens and, and Last Jedi. But like, but now we're so far beyond now, everybody wants everything to connect. And when you don't have that interconnectivity, you feel a little lost, like they're remaking Cliffhanger for whatever reason, and I'm thinking, why don't you just make it a legacy sequel? Fans, people want to see legacy sequels more than they want to see reboots and remakes of films. They would, like, you know, you throw in a character or a reference to an old one, you're like, no, it's a sequel, and I think people are more invested in that story. But this new trilogy from Kinberg, I don't really know if I'm excited for it or not. I couldn't really give you an answer on that because we've heard so many projects be announced and then Cancelled. And it's announced and cancelled. Now this obviously is not officially cancelled, even in this article. They say that Lucasfilm and Disney will not comment. It's not been officially confirmed. No one's come out and said anything, which is something that I'm actually okay with. If, if this article comes out, and we're all talking about it today, we're all very excited about this today, but in six months we forget about it. I'm not going to. But, but if we six months, if we forget about this, and then all of a sudden in a year they're like, guess what? Here's the trailer for... Whatever the first movie is, we could be, oh yeah, remember that? That I can live with. I would rather them just give us trailers. Don't worry so much about telling us what's coming down the pipeline because I don't believe you anymore. I don't believe you. So this, as exciting as this is, I don't believe you until it actually happens, if it happens. I hope it does. I hope it does, but I don't know if it will. JJ was like, you good? Literally immediately started like crying my eyes out because it really felt like Goodbye. And it sounds like this is separate from the Ray movie, like I said, and separate from the, all the other ones I mentioned as well. And I think what they need to do, again, is I think if this is real, then Kinberg needs to sit in a room, call every one of the filmmakers involved. And I think there needs to be a storyline fleshed out. And I think that's one of Star Wars' of Lucasfilm's biggest mistakes has been not having one long story for us to deal with. This will be a plan where you can choose your plan. <laughs> and you know what the plan is. This is the plan. 
Like they should know a beginning, a middle, and an end, right? If, if their new beginning, a middle, and an end is Dawn of the Jedi and their ending is whatever the new threat is 10 years down the line, they need to figure that out. And then, they, then Kinber can incorporate all of that into his trilogy. Otherwise, here's the question, because Ryan Johnson was going to do a trilogy, obviously. We all know how that's going to go. But So this trilogy, let's say he makes it, but what separates this trilogy from Valerian? I always use Valerian as the excuse. But what separates it from other sci-fi fantasy films? What is it? Is it Jedi? Is it Sith? Is it the lore? It's obviously all of the, the above. But he, they need to figure out what this is if you're not going to incorporate the Skywalker saga within it. And I think you can move away from it. I think we've had our moment in the sun with the Skywalkers, and that's great. And we had a great little run. But that is, in my opinion, the center of the Star Wars universe is the Skywalker saga. All right, shut up. I'll take this shut one. Shut up, sir. Luke! <laughs> yeah? What about that one? What about that blue one? We'll take that one. Mommy, I am the blue one. Yeah, I'm quite sure you'll be very pleased with that one, sir. Everything has to flow through it and from the Skywalker saga for us to be truly invested in what the story they're giving us. So if you want to do a story that takes place in another galaxy 25,000 years down the road, that's fine. Just you have to, on some level, know where you came from. It's the importance of knowing where you came from and knowing where you're going. And the Skywalker saga, whether anyone likes it or not, that is where we started. We started with Luke Skywalker. Well, we started with C-3PO2 and Vader and Leia. But we, you know what I mean, we started with Luke Skywalker and it evolved from there and now we're so far removed that some people don't even care about those characters, which is mind boggling to me. What have I done? But that being said, I'm, I'm ready to move on. I am ready, give me new characters. I am all in, ready to go with new characters. Just, I think they need to be engaging and you need to come up with a plot and storyline that is worth telling, that isn't just Palpatine's back or there's a third order. We need something new, something unique, something dynamic and if you're coming in with a trilogy i'm suspecting you already have that in mind and i'm suspecting that i'm going to go in for the ride but again until this is officially confirmed and when i say officially confirmed i mean officially confirmed with either a trailer or with a release date and a shot film not just a release date a release date and a shot film like a shot film like hey we shot this it's done it's in the can we're editing the release date is this date take a seat young skywalker i understand then i will believe you then I'll believe, like Mandalorian and Grogu, I'm like, I kind of believe this. Now we've seen footage. So I've heard. And that's happening. D23 Brazil's coming up too. We're gonna have lots of new Star Wars information coming out of that. I can't wait for that. Fantastic Four is gonna be there. There's a lot going on at D23 Brazil. I'm excited for that. What do you guys think of the news of this new Star Wars trilogy from Simon Kinberg? Are you in, are you out? Let me know in the comments down below. I read them and reply to all of them. And I really wanna hear from you. I love it. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may the force of others be with you. May the force be with you. Goodbye, old friend. <laughs>